All right, I got to run. I'll be back on later. I might be back. I might be. There's a possibility that I might be making an appearance on the YouTube channel, The Rage, with a bunch of foaming at the mouth atheists um, as early as 7.15, maybe 7.30, 7.45. Um, they've invited me to come on, but I probably won't last there too long because they're absolutely obnoxious and, and ruthless. So we'll, we'll see. Will you um, send us a link? Uh, yeah, when I when I get on, I'm I'm in there. I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to be there, but if I get on, I'll stop in here first and send you guys a link. Is but that I got to like go an ahead. Hour, you said? Uh, hour, hour and a half, maybe. No, not guaranteed. I would say it's sixty forty, maybe seventy thirty. All right, I got to go. Um, so yeah, uh, disappointing, Darth. If you're listening, you said that you was going to come in tonight. Um, you. You, you can come in, and, and it'll be you and John, and y'all can do y'all's thing, and you can address maybe some of the things that some of the folks have said, um, which are some of the things that everybody says about that punk ass. But I, I called it all along. I, I said that you're too bitch-made to show up. If, if, if we're not going to come into your Discord server, we're not going to see uh, uh, Darth here. Can I, I'm can not I going suggest anywhere I'm he not? can control anything. Can I say? May I suggest something? Oh yeah, go for it. I, I'm not to, not to tell you how to run your channel, but uh, maybe if you offered to, you know, put us backstage, so well, it's just you and John and guess him who, guess, on the stage. Oh, guess who well, just got in the side chat? Well, but guess what? You, you, are you crying at me? That's that, Jay. Never mind. That was going to happen anyway. <laughs> so hey, okay. real quick, real quick. Um, I just sent him a message that saying that they're waiting for you. He replied with K. <laughs> so hey, going on. The resounding K. Well, yeah. He is in the side chat now. He said, just got online. So I, I threw oh. this, the link into the side chat. Darth, come on cool. in. And I'll yeah, drop well, um, you know, It'll be just you and John at first, and then you can address some of well, the things that you've Yeah, heard. none of you have to drop out, but we yeah. might you know, do what Jay said, and we'll stick you backstage for a few minutes. I don't even think we in. have to do that. I mean, we. I, I'm going to just sit here and chill and listen and have fun. Um, we can all do that until it's time, I think. John, you're in control, John. So it's, it's your right. show. <laughs> Leo, can you control yourself? Who, me? I'm not asking Leo. We shall what? see. So let me, what? let me throw it on to where everybody can see. So I'm going to turn my camera off. John, uh, Darth is here, my dude. Hi, Darth. Okay, so you were objecting to uh, my biblical worldview. So go ahead, John. Well, I, I just have, uh, you know, a question I want to ask you first, and I used my dunce avatar here for you uh, today because, you know, obviously I'm not as smart as you are, Darth, but, uh, you know, when, when you say all the facts you're acquainted with and that intelligibility itself is indicative of the existence of God, um, you can only do so by first determining that God exists. How is it that you determine that God exists? Um, repeat the question. You say that all facts that you're acquainted with or that anybody is acquainted with and that intelligibility itself is indicative of the existence of God. Yes. But mm -hmm. You can only do that if you first determine that God exists. How is it that you've determined that God exists? Um, through his revelation. What type of revelation? Natural and special revelation. There's no um, such thing as natural revelation. Um, and do you have an argument for that? Yes, yes. Nature exists, the universe exists, but in no way does that indicate the need for a supernatural being. Okay. So how did you determine that all the facts that you're acquainted with do not necessitate referencing God? Well, we're not going to run your script here tonight. I've heard you ask that question. No, you made a statement. You made an assertion. I did, I did make a statement. You made an assertion. I'd like you to explain it. Nature, you, you're the one that needs to explain, okay? Because nature exists. I'm agreeing with you. Nature exists. The universe exists. But you're claiming, and you could say it's just a form of question, but you are claiming that nature existing, that the universe existing, is indicative of a supernatural being that you call God. Please, please uh, substantiate that. Okay. Um, 
the only way that there can be facts, facts that are interpreted, is you're going to have to have a metaphysic, and that metaphysic is going to have to be a closed system, right? Why? As Why? Of, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it. I'll why? explain it. You're going to keep on interrupting me. I'm asking you why. Tell me what. Tell me when you're done interrupting. Well, um, you're calling someone out for interrupting. Seriously. Are you done interrupting? Well, I don't know. Am I? I mean, if you want to continue to make a fool out of yourself. I'm not done. making a fool out of myself, Darth. I'm giving you the same thing you give everybody no, else. No, you're being rude. You, oh, no, I'm not being rude. I'm not being okay. rude. So are you done interrupting? Sure, if you answer my question. Why is the last statement you made true? Okay. Now, I'll continue where I left off when you were so rudely interrupting. Right. Well, you're going to okay, ask me. Now, okay. Why. You're interrupting. You're we're interrupting not, again. We're not going to go so further. Is this, is, this the game that, is this the game you're going to play? Not, no, it's not a game. You're, tell me when you're done interrupting. interrupting. Look, dude, you're, you ask people questions. I'm asking you questions today. I'm explaining and it, and you're interrupting questions. me. And if you don't answer my questions, I'm going to treat you the same way you treat everybody else when they don't answer, when they don't answer your questions. Are you done interrupting? Again, answer my question. Are you done interrupting? Okay, again, please substantiate the question. Are you, uh, okay, are you going to let me continue answering you? I'm not going to continue you running your script. Then there, okay, John, 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 there's no point in talking with you, John. John, John, then we're done talking because... You keep on cutting me off in the midst You're of the Because you have not answered You asked me to repeat my question, which I was very nice to do, and you still have not answered it. And then you made a, a, a subsequent claim. And I asked okay, you listen, why. listen, if you're, you're going to mute that. my microphone, if you're going to mute my microphone, whoever did, while this a-hole keeps on interrupting me, there's no point in me staying. Okay? You invited me on the show. Okay? Right. Are now, you going to answer my I'm question? I'm talking to the rage. Darth, now, are you, are you done? Okay, oh, hey, don't talk to rage. Chance. Are hey, you done interrupting? Channel. This is my fucking room, you piece of shit. Okay, if you interrupt me again, I will leave the broadcast. Okay. Well, I know because you're a pussy. Bye, no, Felicia. No. Okay. Now, the reason why there can only be facts in a God world is because facts require a closed <laughs> system as opposed to an open system, which I will begin to explain. In a closed system, um, certain things are possible and certain things are impossible, which means that if anything can happen, as opposed to a closed okay, system. Darth, okay, I'm gonna stop you. okay. I'm gonna stop all right, we're done. We're done. You, you we're done. Bye -bye. How did you John, determine you going to be How did you determine that asshole? Too? John, Okay. How did you determine that okay, God exists? Darth, how did you determine that God exists? Well, that what didn't take bit. long, John. Um, that didn't take long at all. Um, so the audience didn't hear uh, what I told the room because I have too many uh, mute buttons. I didn't mute Darth Dawkins. Um, I, I, th that, mu that must have been John. Um, that didn't take long, John. Um, yeah. No, I didn't think it would. John. John, I'm I'm disappointed. You had one job, and that was to string him along for forty minutes, forty <laughs> minutes <laughs> until knock <laughs> could light that dumpster. I mean, here's uh, the here's the thing. Here's the thing. But he evaded the question from the go, right, right from jump three, and 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 and, and he, he tried to, to go on a diet from interrupting, and then he called me out for muting him. Darth interrupts everybody. Darth mutes anybody that doesn't follow his script. Uh, on the question I asked was actually based on a question that he asks everybody you know but he he turns around how did you determine that god does not exist and mine was how did you determine god exists after the you know the preface to it and he would not answer that my next question for him was going to be why does there need to be anything that is ultimate and absolute for reality to be coherent because that's his other favorite that claim to make that he never substantiates I mean, the thing is, Darth is a horrible interlocutor. He has horrible yes. arguments. He couldn't come in here and have an actual conversation or answer some question, which was yeah. But to spring him, well, I'm sorry, John. Go ahead. No, no. I thought you were. Go ahead, Jay. Oh, I was just—I was going to say, um, 
one of the ways that uh, just my little critique, not saying that you're wrong at any point here, but if you want to kind of keep it going, it's just to say, no. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The only time if you really want to kind of keep him going, it's when it, it's only up call. to the it's only up to the point to where he starts trying to turn it onto you. Then that's when you can kind of jump in and say, no, this isn't about me right now. I'm asking I'm asking the questions because he will do that. And once he shows that, then that it shows that he's trying to he's now trying to turn it onto you so he can now run his script on you instead of you inquiring of him. Right, right. He won't. He'll never sit still and answer questions. Hey, Dar. Or if they come in here hey, Dar. and talk, hey, that was start a, talking about they Knox were Bob. talking about doing that, just running you off before you even joined. Well, could you tell me what you heard? Because I expected this, but I didn't expect it as quick as it was. So, it, yeah, it, it it was clear. You see, John is such a an intellectual lightweight and moron. He know he knew that the only thing that he could pull was simply to be a, a nonstop abusive. Okay. Hey, yeah, uh, hey, yeah, uh, PG. Yo, hey. Where where do you get off telling me that I'm cowardly? Where the hell do you get off? Yeah, why did I leave? Yeah, yeah, you left. Why did I leave? Because you couldn't handle the questions. You kept okay, 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 okay. What a troll! What a troll! Listen, listen yeah. to me carefully. I don't mind you disagreeing yeah. with me, but when you're going to lie to me, when you're going to lie about what happened, do you know that cowbell told me when I, I came lie. in here? They okay, fuck off, you piece of garbage. You're banned. Yeah. What a okay. By the way, by by the way, that's a guy who I've pretty much had a cordial relationship with, and he's simply just trolling. Okay. Well, he was one of the ones talking about it. You know, it really was. Oh, uh, really? I, is it? Is it on the? Is it on the? It's I'm on gonna the go video? in and get it. Yeah, it, he was one of the ones crying about it. You know, it was like an opportunity that they were. Whoa, 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 take, whoa! So, were they, they explicitly could. saying they were plotting? To sit there, be abusive, over talk, and not stop, not not yeah. stop. Well, the truck. Yes. Yeah, the one guy said he was going to make snide comments while you guys were interacting. He right. didn't do okay. it, but he said he was. Okay. Well, I think that was the guy that yelled, uh, "Bye, Felicia!" When you said, "If you keep over talking to me, I'm gonna leave." Yeah. Yeah. So the the point is this: is their conduct is proof positive that they're utter, they, they recognize their own intellectual inadequacy to discuss the issue, okay? Because why else would they have discussed and planned ahead of time to be abusive and disruptive and then actually to do it? If they actually had confidence in their intellectual ability to discuss the issue, then wh why, why behave that way, okay? It was pointless. Well, there was no, there was no point in staying after I asked several times, stop and see, th this is what morons these people are. Okay. They, they're, they're morons. They're intellectual morons. There was only, there was only two options, either get railroaded by Darth intellectually or just railroad Darth by trolling, but they chose very clear. Yeah I'm, not, I, I, yeah. I'm not going to sit there and stay on the show while the the so-called hosts of the show are, are uh, you know, reprobate trolls themselves. They weren't, in, they weren't interested in having a conversation. Okay, I mean, PG, listen, hold on, on, hold on, yeah. hold on. PG, who I just banned in here, posted, you just proved you're a coward. Thank you. You see what a piece of garbage positively godless is? You see, they're not, they're not even, they have no shame that they conducted themselves completely in a reprehensible fashion and that it was simply a ploy because they don't want to discuss the issue intellectually. They're, they're not even ashamed. Oh, gosh, they, they, these people are just troglodytes. And he was like, you know, I said, like, you couldn't answer his question, but you answered his question right away. Oh, I didn't finish. I had to unpack it. The reason why facts indicate God is because that's the only way that there can be facts, where God is creator, he's the institutor, and he's the sustainer, and 
the facts are what they are within the mind and plan of God. So you have a closed system. Now, if right, somebody says, if somebody's, if, gave, if some, he wasn't going to hear it. Yeah. If somebody says, no, that's not the only way that you could have facts. I said, good. Then explain to me how you can have facts in an open system without a closed system. Okay. Because in a clo an open system, nothing is impossible. Things are not what they are according to an absolute ultimate creator and his plan. Therefore, one minute, what you think is a fact could be changed by something new that comes along to change that fact tomorrow and then the next day and the next day. Okay. So they had, they had no interest in discussing the issue. It was a, it was a total scam. You see you positively, you see, yeah, you see positively godless. Do you see how he keeps on posting trolling taunts? No, I, I shut the stream off. He's, he's in the text chat. He keeps on posting, uh, at, Duncan atheism stuff. Okay. This is an utter coward. When I question him about his atheism, he refuses to discuss it. Okay. Well, raging atheist was talking, kept saying over and over, well, Darth always wants to come in the room and wants to ask me questions in the side chat on my streams while I'm doing a review and I can't have him in there, but I invite him to open nights and he doesn't come and he's probably not coming to this one because he knew what time it was and then after right after you left he kept uh raging atheist kept uh said oh it wasn't me i wasn't the one muting darth well what what else are they gonna do okay they they john peterson who's in who's a moron knows that he couldn't discuss the issue intellectually with me so he just decided to be you know be a train wreck he tried to throw a verbal stick of dynamite into the conversation. What you saw there was plan B atheism. Now, now the empathetic atheist uh, is trolling, trying to throw me under the bus when it, it was he who was being deceptive and deceitful. See, this, the, see, the, the, the atheists are just like the Democrats. They are unashamed. What's the word? They are shamelessly uh, deceptive and not truthful. Shamelessly. And they're and they're well, proud of it. They're proud of the, it. Yeah, but the uh, empathetic atheist, he doesn't have any choice. He's just determined to be that way, according to his his shtick. Well, interestingly enough, okay, either either it is God who creates and determines the the plan of human history, okay, while incorporating human agency, or 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 we have something else that determines it. But you see, they say, well, you haven't proven your God. Well, what instituted causal succession in your world? What, what is it that institutes and secures it? You see, these people are the biggest phonies in the world. On the one hand, when we talk about God being creator, all right, that he determined the creation, then they say prove it. But then they talk about they're in a world of determinism. determinism. Well, what institutes that causal succession? What is it? Yeah, this morning when Matt Yester was asking me, Matt and Tom Lock were asking him that question. He kept saying, well, do I really need to know? I mean, it just does. Do I really need to no, know? No, you do. Way? You do need to know because right. you see in a, in a world, in a world where you say is and operates without God, I want to know why each particular is what it is. Are each, are, are each of the most fundamental individual particulars are fact? Are they absolute within themselves? Okay. And they just are what they are at any given moment and they could change at any time. And we have a system of chance, or is there something that is a, a concrete universal, something that is ultimate and absolute that institutes what can be and what cannot be? What, what, what is it? What, what, which is it? Well, it's just a throwaway sentence that they use, right? Because they don't have an answer. It's like, uh, you know, Einstein yeah. saying, I don't see the relevance of that question. I'm not, I'm not seeing the relevance of that. Look, this is this is proof positive, you know, that Bonson and Ventil were right, that they're suppressing the truth and the righteousness because all of them, with rare exceptions, engage in various deceptive and deceitful tact, verbal tactics without fail. Now, why do, why do the vast majority, if not all of them, engage this way? 
is because they're lying to themselves, they're lying to God, right. and they're lying to us that their real motivation is they do not want there to be God. That is their that is their prime principle. That's their prime directive from which they they draw in cliches, slogans, catchphrases, and that's it. They don't want there to be a God, period. That's their starting point. Okay? And then they hide behind that they're on an intellectual pursuit of truth. Well, I really want to believe in God. I just need proof. Well, good. What's your proof that there is something that has instituted, you know, uh, what is static and what is dynamic? What's your proof for what's absolute that provides for what doesn't change and what does change? Otherwise, you're in a, in a chaotic world where anything goes and anything can happen. And then, therefore, you don't have grounds for reason or truth. What's your proof for that? The answer is they don't have any. They just adopt they just adopt brute facts on a grand scale. Well, there's just causality. Well, there's just laws of nature. That's just the way it is. They are fake phonies and fakes, phonies and frauds.